The third major difference in English, we can use changes in word order to turn a statement into a question. For example, by putting a word like do, does, did, have, is, are in the front of a sentence. So, we could begin with the statement, you like studying languages, and turn it into a question by adding the hyperverb do to the front, turning the sentence into, do you like studying languages? Similarly, we can change the statement, you are Chinese, into a question simply by switching the order of the subject and verb to make, are you Chinese? It doesn't work this way in Chinese, though. Indeed, to form questions, we add on a special question marker character to the end of the sentence. And the order of the sentence remains otherwise unchanged. So, for example, we begin with the statement, 你是中国人? You are Chinese. And form a question by adding the standard question marker character, ma, to the end. Our question thus becomes, 你是 中国人吗? The Chinese way of making questions is actually simpler than the English way, wouldn't you say? Now, you try using the rule you just learned to make Chinese questions. Let's start with the sentence. 他是美国人? He is American. How would you make that a question? That's right, as simple as adding ma to the end. So, to ask if someone is American, we would say, 他是美国人吗? If you listen carefully to these two sentences, 他是美国人? And, 他是美国人吗? You'll notice something else very interesting. In Chinese, there's no need to change the intonation of the sentence to indicate that it's a question, like we sometimes do in English. And when the tone rises at the end of the question, is he American? In Chinese, as long as you remember to add the question marker, ma, you're good to go. No word order or intonation changes needed. Let's practice turning the following sentences into yes, no questions. Remember, there's no need to change word order, but just add ma to the end. Number one, 你喜欢这本书? You like this book. The answer is, 你喜欢这本书吗? Do you like this book? Number two, 他 想去中国. She wants to go to China. The correct question is 她想去中国吗? Does she want to go to China? Number three 你是她的哥哥 you are his older brother. That's right. You should ask, 你是他的哥哥吗? Are you his older brother? All right, does Chinese word older make sense to you now? 
Hopefully, you're able to see that even though Chinese has some significant differences from English. They're not all so complicated, and sometimes they're even simpler. That goes not only for word order, but for all the five steps we've just covered. Congratulations on making it through this introduction to the Chinese language. You've come a long way, and now that you know some of the core features of Chinese, you are ready to study in greater depth. Remember, just like with any language, learning Chinese is not just about listening to lectures and doing homework and quizzes. It's also very important, not to mention fun, to spend as much time as you can chatting with Chinese friends and teachers and being exposed to as much authentic Chinese as possible. And remember, the vocabulary and grammar and other features of the language you learn in your courses will enable you to enjoy all sorts of new experiences in Chinese. Listening to Chinese music, watching Chinese films and shows, and meeting and becoming friends with Chinese people. We hope you enjoyed your first steps in Chinese and hope to see you again soon in future courses as your knowledge of Chinese continues to expand.